was in my kitchen listening to a video and just getting so encouraged about the Lord coming soon. And we know it's soon. It's so soon. Can you imagine that we, maybe that generation that gets to see Jesus return, that we have the honor to be a part of that. So this is gonna be a super emotional video because the Lord spoke to me after I was getting so excited about his return and I was walking down my basement stairs and I was thinking to myself, how awesome is it that, you know, these things are coming to pass and more biblical prophecy about the end and how awesome is it when, you know, I mean awesome in the sense that when things start showing up like the mark of the beast and the antichrist and all that stuff that it's going to be so much more obvious to people that Jesus is coming back and then it won't be as hard to talk to people and share the gospel because we have some very sure signs that we can look at and say, see, like, look, this is coming to pass, this is true, Jesus is coming back. And I've had that thought before, but this time... This time walking down the stairs as I was thinking that, the Lord very sternly speaks to me, which he doesn't do often. And he said, No, you start now. You start spreading the gospel now. Don't wait for things to look so obvious start now because it's not about me and I just stood there in my basement after he said that almost shocked, well shocked, really shocked because I didn't expect to hear his voice like that. I didn't expect him to speak at all. I was just thinking. And he just so sternly interrupted me and said that and gave me the realization, gave me that revelation that we're not here to wait until things are perfect or we have the perfect opportunity or the perfect words or whatever we think we need to spread the gospel. Teaching people about Jesus and the truth is not optional in any situation because it's not about us. And I remember in the beginning 10 years ago when I was first born again and I first met Jesus and was blown away at how true he is and how eternity is so real. And there's only one chance. And when this life is over, every single one of us, we're going to meet him and we're gonna stand before him. And we are all going to be judged by him whether we like it or not. And judged by the law of love. And who am I to ever hold back that truth from someone? And in the beginning I was so on fire, maybe a little bit too on fire. And you become so zealous and you just tell everybody because you just discovered the most important thing you will ever know because it determines eternity for you and it you meet your maker your creator you meet the ultimate truth the truth of all truths 
and I told everybody, I told everyone, no matter how much they hated it, <laughs> I told everybody, and then life, and you learn, and you grow, and you mature, and you learn how to speak to people differently, and hold interactions differently, and become led by the Lord's Spirit to certain conversations, and how important that is. But God Almighty, I don't want to ever get to that point, and I pray, Jesus, am I at that point now where I've gone the opposite direction, and I've become so afraid of man and people's opinions, whether they hate me or not, because I'm telling them the truth, or or am I saying at the right time for them to hear the truth? Will they receive it at all? Will it be a seed that just falls on rocky soil and not grow deep roots? Is that up to me to decide? No. Or else the Lord wouldn't even give that parable about the seed being sown and falling on rocky soil. We're the ones that are supposed to be throwing the seed. It doesn't matter where it lands. <laughs> I mean, it matters, but it's not up to us. It's up to the person receiving it and the Holy Spirit and the Lord. That has nothing to do with us. We've been commanded to tell the truth because these are God's children. These are God's creation. These are God's people that are just as worthy of hearing the truth as we ever were when we received it. And I was talking to my husband thinking, imagine, like, uh, I just think of all the people that I pass by on a daily basis and I'm constantly thinking how can I how can I share the gospel with them and I think that so much more than actually just doing it and I was talking with my husband saying like remember the time when we were lost imagine if everyone passed us by and thought maybe the time's not right or I don't know how to share it with them and we never heard the truth. Imagine if that was us. And look at all of these beautiful people and these children of God with open hearts just waiting, waiting to hear and receive the truth. But we're not telling them. We think Maybe it's not the right time, or we get scared, or we think God will use somebody else. Even if it's a missed opportunity, God will use somebody else to teach them, to speak to them. By God's grace, we pray so. He will reach whoever he reaches in his own time and by his will, but, but there will be people lost. We will have to answer for it. I will have to answer for it. For the times where the Lord clearly told me to speak to someone or say something and do something and I didn't do it. And God is so good. And he still loves me and forgives me. And I beg him every day just to keep teaching me and to give me another chance because when you speak again I'll listen I'll obey and I'll listen because it's not about me these are your babies these are your babies that you love so much and you want them to know you because you're coming back and even if you don't come back within our generation. Even if you don't, we're all going to die. <laughs> Every single one of us. This life is so short and it's gonna be over soon. Even if Jesus doesn't come back, all of our lives are op over soon.
just wanted to share that. That this is weighing on me so heavy now. And it's something I'm going to be praying about. And I've been praying that this generation just rises up like never before. Because I truly believe and I truly feel that it is the last. And I'm not saying that because everything that's going on in the world and everyone's been saying, the end is near, the end is near, the end is near. I'm saying this because eight years ago, the Lord clearly spoke to me and gave me some very clear revelation about the end. And it's only coming to pass now. And I believe him and I believe it. I believe this is it. So I pray, Lord, like never before, that each one of us would be completely humble and submit to your spirit and to what you guide us into and how you lead us to spread your word and the truth to everyone, Lord Jesus. I pray, God, that truth would just build up in every single one of our hearts that every single believer around this entire world right now, every single believer of every single age would be filled to overflowing with your spirit, would hear your voice and would follow it, Lord God. That there would be a hunger that is filled for you, Lord Jesus. And that each one of us would rise up Rise up, rise up, and take the lead and bring people, Lord Jesus, to your throne, Lord. Mm. God bless you guys. I think I needed to post this video. The next one will hopefully be a little bit more joyous. <laughs> Usually not this sad. <laughs> Just really needed to share that. I really needed to share this. And if it hits your heart, pray about it too. Pray about it with me. Pray for me. And pray for every believer out there. God bless you guys.